The Nawalu are great opportunists when it comes to feeding themselves. A cave means bats, and bats, while small, are numerous and relatively simple to catch. Just knock them down while they're asleep. So pig, couscous and bat. That's a lot of protein for very little effort. Enak. Enak. I don't know about you, but I don't think they're as fierce as their reputation. And this jungle pork simply delicious. Mm. <laughs> the jungle is a wonderfully rich source of food and shelter, but it can just as easily provide clothing as well. A strip of bark from the sapani tree, soaked and hammered flat, becomes a bark cloth. Until very recently, this was the only clothing Nwali would wear. It's now used almost exclusively for the ritual of male initiation. In a secluded area, away from the women, the initiates are dressed in the regalia of manhood. A loincloth of bark and the red headscarves are symbolic of Nawalu bravery. <laughs> For these boys, it's a big day. It marks their arrival into manhood. And for the future of the Nawalu, it's crucial. Rituals like this keep their sense of community and pride intact, and their culture alive. <laughs> The elders will teach the boys all the skills of the forest, how to make shelters, how to trap animals, and which trees give the best resin for burning in the ceremonial torches, the only form of light sanctioned by the ancestors for use in rituals. The Nualu are well aware of the modern world. They trade food for metal to make their parangs and for the treasured red cloth. And they hope to keep their culture alive as their ancestors would wish. At the beginning of the world, the ancestors taught us everything we need to live in the forest. We must respect their wishes and continue to teach our children those ways so that they will understand the forest and be able to live here forever or until the world ends. Like all of the places I've been to in this series, the jungle is a harsh environment. But once you take the time to see it through the eyes of the native inhabitants, people like the Nawalu, you begin to realize that not only can you survive here, but you can also enjoy the experience. Of course, the secret is in knowing how. Many of the skills we've seen have taken thousands of years to acquire. If we're not careful, we could lose them in only a couple of generations.